What's up, John Cristani here, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit of story about how I created seven streams of income by the age of 25, and how you can also create streams of income for yourself. And I'm gonna walk you through my process, how this transformation came, and how by the age of 25, I was making $50,000 every single month, and how it's possible. You know, maybe just one of these streams of income is possible for you, maybe all seven are but hopefully you'll get something away from this video. I'm gonna start off with a little explanation of what my goal was going into this process of becoming rich. I'm gonna give you a warning because it's not easy. Most of y'all are not cut off from the right cloth. Most of y'all don't have the, the work ethic, the willingness, the do whatever it takes, hungry wolf attitude to actually go out there and crush and set up streams of income. Most of y'all are too lazy, but you know, I'm gonna give some warnings about that and I'm gonna go dive deep into each of those seven streams of income, exactly how I got them started and how long they took. Let's go. So the goal of mine was always passive income and I'm gonna go over a couple different income streams that were passive income related. Those streams of income are streams, this is partially, like I'd say 50% right here. This stream of income was passive and this stream of income were passive. So I'm gonna go into passive income streams as well because the goal is to be able to wake up in the morning and have all of the money that you need for the day, the week, the month already set and already coming in like clockwork. And also a warning, most people aren't gonna become rich or set up a lot of streams of income in their 20s. You have to work unbelievably hard. You have to have a warrior attitude. You have to get rid of your broke friends. You have to hang out with your rich friends. You have to not do drugs. You have to keep your body healthy. You have to eat healthy. You have to be productive. You have to wake up on time to get working. You have to be focused during the day. You have to sleep right, exercise right, eat right, all these things. You can't have mental fog. How many of you wake up in the morning just like, ah, tired all the time? You know, I used to be like that. If you want to be successful, you have to wake up clear headed. You have to do a lot of other things to perform at this level where you can set up seven streams of income. And during this period in my 20s, all of those things were true for me, right? I went into pure monk mode for years. You know, I didn't have a girlfriend. I didn't have any of these things. You have to be able to put in hard effort and make hard sacrifices. And if you aren't making hard sacrifices, then you're probably not doing it right. Let's go into the streams of income though. The first stream of income that I had was a job, okay? I had a job that was paying me $6,000 a month. Okay, $6,000 a month. But why do I put this as a stream of income if it's a job? Well, it's money. It's money and it only took eight hours of my day. And by the end of my job, my job was actually taking me two hours a week. I didn't even have to show up to the office. I was able to automate as much of my job away as possible, going from 40 hours a week, or 50 or 60 hours a week, whatever I was working, to two hours a week and getting paid the same amount. The way I was able to do that was simply my boss. You know, I, I told him, I, I said I was leaving. He said, where are you going? You know, are you going to a competitor? Are you taking one of my clients and working in house? I said, none of that. I didn't give him any information. You know, he was prying, which got him worried because actually by not giving my boss information on what I was doing, he got suspicious and he just said, I'm just gonna try to keep this guy under my wraps and I'm gonna pay him. So if he does anything I don't like, I could sue him. You know, that was his idea, right? But I was able to just basically get money because he was worried about the unknown, about losing me. And this goes into an essential lesson is in whatever you're doing, make yourself invaluable. Whatever you're doing, Make yourself invaluable, and that means your job too. If you can't do a job well, then you're not gonna be able to work for yourself well. Does that make sense? If you can't work for other people at a high level of performance, then you won't be able to make it on your own, period. The next stream of income that I had was running an agency, running my own agency which meant I was on Upwork. At the time it was called Elance. I would do a search in Upwork for PPC or Google AdWords or online advertising. And anyone who was looking for somebody who could do online advertising, which is my skill, I would say, hey, I'll do your work. 
People put up posts saying $500 or we'll pay this much. I'd apply to everyone I can. And from that, I was able to make an extra 4K a month. So, and this was a lot of work, you know? I was managing accounts, I was getting on phone calls, all this stuff, very basic stuff. Now my third stream of income was affiliate. And at this period of time, this was ClickBank, at this point in time, I was only making about $5,000 a month from affiliate marketing. Now I was able to grow my income from affiliate marketing over time to, I think that when I was 27, 28, I was making 500,000 a month. By 25, I was making $5,000 a month and I was promoting something where I had a unique advantage. And when you're setting up streams of income, you want to play to your advantages. Now, my advantage was from my job, I was working for Glenn Beck and Rush Limbaugh's advertisers. I was working for these companies in the survivalism space. They were selling seed banks. They were selling, you know, like preparation for the end of the world type equipment, info products gold investing, you know, bug out bags. So I really had an understanding of what's called the survival audience. People preparing for the end of the world. LDS stuff, etc. So I understood this market from my job and I leveraged my understanding of this market to promote survival products on ClickBank. And I was promoting Survive the End of the World preparation course, which cost uh, 40 bucks on the internet, you know, it's like a video and an e-course and an e-book. And I was able to get sales of this product that I would get $40 in commissions for. I was able to get new customers for $20. And I was able to do that consistently on a Christian video sharing site called godvine.com. And I just let it run and I was making an extra $5,000 a month. Now this wasn't passive because I had to watch it. I had to continually test ads. I was only really advertising on one website, godvine.com in one unit. So I had to create new ads continually because that audience would be exposed, you know, after a week, you know, the audience would have seen the same ad, you know, if, if they logged onto the site once a week. But this kept sustaining because what I found is I found a really good fit of an audience and a really good fit of a product. Religious people watching videos and they really like, you know, survival and prep products. Now, my fourth stream of income was consulting and my consulting get paid me 10K a month. This was essentially a full-time job and I was only able to do consulting after I had automated out my job and that only took me an extra two hours a month. So I was able to build an extra stream of income by working for a company and just doing everything they needed and not being a full-time employee. That was really great. But that came about because of working on an agency. The same way I was reaching out to people here to handle their advertising, I ended up getting this consulting job through my outreach on Upwork and Elance. And I guess the moral here is I was taking clients for $500 a month managing their Google ads. I saw an opportunity with a larger client and they, you know, I could get $10,000 a month. And the thing is, if you are consistently getting yeses, if you are selling a product or service or selling your time or applying for jobs and you are consistently getting yeses, then you gotta start pushing harder for a no. And what I mean by that is raise your price until you start getting no's. What I did here was I just said, screw it, I wanted more money. I was making 10,000 a month. I said, let's double it. I said, I'm gonna try to pitch people at $10,000 a month. I wanna double this money. I'm just gonna ask for $10,000 a month. And what's funny is you won't get anything you don't ask for. And when I wrap my brain around, I have to get clients for $10,000 a month, I did. Because I started talking of more I started talking to more developed companies. I started focusing my efforts on applying for positions or consulting or jobs or whatever at more developed companies. And I would morph it into, an, I morphed it into an extra stream of income for myself. Now, anything you have a skill on, you can do consulting for. There's consultants for everything. Sam Ovens has a great course talking about, uh, con, you know, how to become a consultant. I haven't done consulting in years, but you know, the last time I did, I got like a thousand dollars an hour. Now my third stream of income is weird. Bed bugs. Did you say bed bugs? Well, bed bugs, I was selling bed bug eradication kits. Why this was, became a stream of income was this was sort of an affiliate stream of income. This came out of the outreach I did on Upwork and Elance for agency stuff. Every day, I would apply to 10 jobs. 
10 ways to make money, 10 opportunities to make money. And I think there's a moral there, if you're watching this, is what are you doing each day to help you bring in money? What, how many opportunities a day are you creating for money to come to you? And what I did was I prioritized that in the beginning of every day, 8 a.m., I would start sending out my proposals to people to give me money to handle their marketing or their agency, which morphed into the consulting, but it also morphed into the bed bug thing. Now what the bed bug thing is, I told this company, I said, hey, instead of paying me to manage your online advertising, I said, how about you pay me to create new customers for you? It was an experiment. I was testing out ways, again, I'm young and I'm testing out ways that I can get more leverage in my life and more payment for performance rather than my time. Because my time between these other streams of income, except affiliate, but really the job and the agency and the consulting took up a lot of time. I didn't really have much of a life outside of work during this period, if, if you kind of get that gist, right? And I said, pay me $40 for a new customer. The company said, yeah, that's fine. We could pay you $40 per new customer. That'll be fantastic. And what I did was I used my own money, my own credit card to work on getting them customers. And I was able to get them customers more cheaply than $40. The customer was happy because they were paying a fixed, consistent amount for new customers, and I was happy because I was making an extra $10,000 a month. It varied. I'd say it varied between five and 15,000 a month. I was able to do that on Facebook. Facebook ads, I'd say the trick, the key, the secret sauce, like the secret sauce that made the money here was I put up a fake news article about how bed bugs, there's a bed bug epidemic in the US. Bed bugs are biting people and eating them alive. All of this is true, right? There's bed bugs in the US and you know, you can call it an epidemic if you want. And I, but I used really gnarly imagery of bed bugs eating people. And when they got to the article, they freaked out because it, you know, the article said, don't go to movie theaters, don't go to apartment hotels, don't sleep in other people's beds. You might get eaten alive at night unless you have this particular device. They're basically like these. You know, they're basically like, like it was like a little like plastic tin with some like diatomaceous earth in it. So really cheap products, so everyone's happy, right? They're resting easy at night, the company's making money, and I'm making extra money. And $10,000 a month, was a lot more than the $500 a month I was making for managing people's advertising just for a flat rate. Now the next stream of income was much more passive. I was an affiliate for a gold investment company. Specifically, the gold investment company was Regal Assets. Now the great thing about investments is that there's more money in investments than anything else. A lesson you'll learn, especially becoming rich, is that the closer you get to the money, the more there is of it. And what that means is in the investment niche, there's a lot of money. When you're talking about gold, which literally is money, there's a lot of money and it's moving. All I did was I got in the middle of that. I moved up from bed bugs and I moved into a bigger field. And from this, I was making anywhere between 15 to $50,000 a month. It varied a lot, but on average, I'd say about 20, $25,000 a month from advertising on gold investment related keywords, putting up review blogs where I would review the competitors and I'd say the competitors are awful and you should go with this company instead. So anytime anybody looked for one of Regal Assets competitors, I would have an ad that said, don't work with Acme Gold and Gold Co because they might be a scam. I didn't say they were a scam. I said they might be a scam, but just saying somebody might be a scam is enough to put doubt, enough doubt in people's minds that they freak out. And you can do this. This is, a, this is an unbelievably successful method that a lot of my students have used that have been getting started in affiliate marketing that I teach, that I've been teaching for years. So that was Regal Assets. Now, last stream of income is Airbnb. And Airbnb was passive. I made 
1.5K a month from profit. I made 3K a m month from renting out my Airbnb. But what I did was I actually delegated the responsibility to my roommate to work with the customers, to do the bedding, to do all the coordination. And I just had him give me half of the money. So what I did was I leveraged people around me that I, that would just do me a favor. And you all, we all have people around us, family, friends, that will do us a favor. You know, a favor is as simple as like, can you make me a meal? You know, anything you can make people do, it means you can get them to work for you and make money together. And it's good I got him on board because he became a super host. He got invited to, you know, we got invited to San Francisco. We got, in, you know, to meet the founders of Airbnb. People liked our, you know, renting my place for me so much, all this stuff. So those are my seven streams of income. You know, post in the comments, what stream of income is most interesting? What, what, which one was most interesting to you that you'd like to figure out how to do and why? And if you're looking to dive deeper into anything about online marketing and starting a business, join one of my Telegram groups down, down below. Uh, I have groups for affiliates. If you want me to pay you, you can sell my products and I'll pay you money. Post links online, I'll pay you money. I have a ton of income methods, I've paid out over $8 million to affiliates. Great opportunity. Guys, create freedom for yourselves. Don't listen to the mainstream media. Don't listen to what your broke friends or family members are telling you. Don't listen to the propaganda that's being shoved up your throat uh, or down your throat by the world, by TikTok. Stop being addicted to social media. Turn off all notifications on your phone because your mind is a slave to that phone. If you haven't been able to leave the house without your phone anytime recently, then your mind is a freaking slave. You're a sissy because that thing has got you owned hook, line, and sinker. You freak out, you panic when that little phone is not around you. So you gotta free yourself. And the other thing is you have to create a legacy. You have to create a dynasty. You have to live forever. And that means working on your family, right? Whether that's a community of friends, whether that's whatever that is, just repopulating the world with little copies of yourself, do it. And these two things together will allow us to become rich and live forever and live independently of what else is going on because it's going to get crazy. Love you all. Subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.